What's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be discussing uh, what is next for Jose Aldo. Uh, has had a pretty successful move down to 135 pounds. Had strung together uh, three quality wins in a row over Rob Font, uh, Pedro Munoz, and Marlon Vera. Uh, so by no means is he washed up or done. Uh, just uh, it was a solid performance from Marab. Uh, really used a typical... Uh, Marab fashion uh, fight, just applying the pressure using his cardio and wrestling and uh, just controlling uh, Aldo up against the cage and winning the fight mostly through through control time and octagon control and being the aggressor of most of the fight. He had Aldo backing up and, uh, you know, that's a key to victory and, uh, you know, Aldo can never really get going. Aldo doesn't do that well against guys that really have that high pressure and output Aldo doesn't seem to like to throw that much. He's much more selective in his shots. Seems to kind of be looking for that big knockout shot that can really hurt somebody instead of really just fighting based on trying to win on points. So we take a look at the 135-pound division, and we go through and look. Uh, currently, Aldo is ranked third and Marab is six. I expect that to be updated soon and based on for them, basically for them to swap places. So I expect Jose to come in at number six. And uh, as far as potential matchups for him, there is the uh, uh, potential uh, Rob Font mat rematch there for him. Also, I think a matchup between him and Pedro Munoz would be a solid fight to make for the UFC. Um, if they want to go jump Jose straight back into trying to get him into championship contention, I think the loser of Aljamain Sterling and uh, TJ Joshaw definitely makes sense to make that fight. And uh, possibly the winner of Corey Sanhagen and Song Yadong. Uh, that's another main event coming up in the next couple of weeks. What do you guys think is the best uh, option from Jose's perspective? And what do you think that the UFC is going to try and do with Jose Aldo? Do you think that they're going to try and uh, put him back into championship contention? Or they're going to try and tell him to maybe uh, fight some older guys and uh, you know just fight that way and maybe not look at another run towards the title? So uh, let me know what you guys think uh, is going to happen next for Jose and what you, what you would like to see uh, his next fight be. Uh, look forward to hearing from you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.